It's interesting, though, that at this time, at least in human history, there seems to be a gap between the tools of science and uh, the ex subjective experience that people report, like you're talking about with telepathy. And it seems like we're not quite there. No, I think that there is no gap between the tools of science and telepathy. Either it's there or it's not, and it's an empirical question. And if it's there, we should be able to detect it in a lab. Mm -hmm. So why is there not a lot of Michael Evans walking around? I, I don't think that Michael Levin is uh, specifically focused on telepathy very much. He is focused on self-organization in uh, living organisms and in brains, uh, both as a paradigm for development and as a paradigm for information processing. And when you think about how organization processing works in organisms, there is, first of all, radical locality, which means everything is decided locally from the perspective of an individual cell. The individual cell is the agent. And the other one is coherence, basically. There needs to be some criterion that uh, determines how these cells are interacting in such a way that order emerges on the next level of structure. Mm -hmm. And this principle of coherence, of um, imposing constraints that uh, are not uh, validated by the individual parts and lead to coherent structure, um, to basically transcendental agency where you form an agent on the next level of organization is uh, crucial in this perspective. It's so cool that radical locality leads to the emergence of complexity at, yeah. at the higher layers. And I think what Mike Levin is looking at is, is nothing that is outside of the realm of science in any way. It's just that he is a, a paradigmatic thinker mm -hmm. who develops his own paradigm Mm -hmm. And most of the neuroscientists are um, using a different paradigm at this point. And this often happens in science that a field is, has a few paradigms in which people try to understand reality and build concepts and make experiments. You're kind of one of those type of paradigmatic thinkers. 